Hey friends, I am here with a makeup tutorial. I wanted something that looked natural but also had a little bit of va va voom with the lip. It's really simple. I only use one eyeshadow color and then I just put a little lip on, honey, and then that was it. That was anybody could do it. It's beginner friendly. You're at the right place. Stay tuned. As always, we're going to start off by concealing the face. I'm going in with Juvia's Place, um, their Magic Concealer in the num number 10. Full disclosure, when I first put this on, I was like, oh my god, that is really light. But, you know, it worked out fine. You'll see. And I am going in with my MAC foundation. Oh, this is getting light. I'm going to need some more. Emergency 911. <laughs> I'm really getting low on this. Here I'm blending out the foundation with a flat kabuki brush. And once I get the outer edges of the face, with the little bit that's still on the brush, I'm going to start bringing it in to those highlighted areas just a little bit because I don't like it to be, you know, like you super light skin on the inside. Like what happened to your face? I get the whole lot highlight thing, but I just don't want it to look too highlighted because I still want to look like me. <laughs> so you won't completely lose the highlighted color. I am going in with my black opal medium. Get you a big old fluffy brush. Now go here, one dab there, and one dab here. We're just going to go in a little bit with Juvia's Place, their stick foundation, and this is in the color Katsina. So I'm just going to do a little line there, do a little line here, and just a little bit up here. More so than bringing it forward, just push it back. More color and dimension. Doesn't look like a complete, like this black surface of the same color. And with my blush, going in with La Femme. And that's the thing with makeup. If you're just like, you know, you're not a professional artist or anything, you don't have to have a whole bunch of stuff. I, I mean, I go more so ham on eyeshadows because I just love to do different eyeshadow looks. But as far as like the base to my face, I just keep on doing using the same stuff, you know, for the most part. But I plan to experiment just a little bit more. All right. For my highlight, I'm going to go in with another MAC product. Oh gosh, I have to put the name of this. It's a cream based highlighter. Um, so let me wet my sponge to pick this up and I'll be right back. This is the color and I'm just going to go in, just place it right on top of your cheekbone. Can y'all see it? Because I surely could not see it. So I was like, let me just go back in. Let me get some more, you know? So I started scooping Whoa. it out realized i took a uh -oh. big chunk out but still was gonna roll with it i'll blend it out no problem child they're gonna be able to see me from the moon i realized i put so much on so so much it was a lot <laughs> oh yeah y'all should see me right now it is so bright let's do the eyes so we're going to do keep it very simple. I may just do one eyeshadow, maybe. I might even do two, maybe. But we're gonna keep it simple. So this is my P. Louise 
base in the color four. So I am going in my Juvia's Place palette in the mas Masquerade. I will be using Burkini. Oh, that's a little darker than I wanted. Wow. No, yeah, let's just go with it. To avoid a situation like that, you can test out the colors on the back of your hand to make sure it's the eyeshadow that you want. And we're just going to blend it out. Or buff it out, you know, tomato, tomato, blendata, buffata. Just bring that on up. And so the reason why I didn't like just bring the brown all the way up and pack it up, because I just wanted it to be softer as it rolls up to the eyebrow. So today I'm using one of my favorite lashes. This is by Velour. If you want a very natural looking false eyelash, this, this is it right here. It's called Wood Eye Lie. So lashes may seem a little intimidating, but you can use these few techniques. So when you put this strip of lash glue on the lash, let it dry a little bit, let it get tacky, then place the eyelash on the center first and then start to tack on the outer edges of the eyelashes. Okay, so the lashes are on. I do need to put some mascara underneath on my real lashes and I may or may not do a line. We'll see. I really like this mascara because it doesn't run, you know, someone won't be asking you, were you just crying? And you're like, no, I wasn't crying. But yeah, it doesn't do that at all. So um, the way I apply these lashes, it's like a little bit of a gap right here. So it could be like, you know, lift the eye up on each side. So I'm going to fill that all in with some liner. Okay. Whew. And then last, we will do the lips. As usual, I am going to line my lip with the color whatever by Colored Rain. Next, I will fill it in with my favorite red color. This is Cherry Blossom in Colored Rain again, their liquid lipstick. And it's a really, if you and I share similar complexion, this is a really pretty red. I just love this red color so much. It gives me that Betty Boop vibe. Okay, boop boop ba doop. Okay, honey. And just so you know, that cartoon character came from a black woman, a cabaret dancer by the name of Baby okay. Esther. <laughs> Give credit when credit is due. Let me just make sure that's all covered up. So I got a little bit out of the lip line. So what you can do is just put concealer um, or foundation in that area so you can clean it up. And just blend that out. Hey friends, so what do you think about this look? I like it a lot. I feel like it still has the essence of being really natural, but with a little pop of color. <laughs> Oh, and if you want to know about this hair, there's a tutorial for that too. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Adia underscore Sherelle. Thank you so much for watching. Bye friends. Until next time.